what is considered to be bad for the environment. It's always masculine stuff that's bad for the environment. You see, it's the fracking and it's the oil exploration and it's the derricks and it's the drilling and it's the giant ships. It's all masculine stuff. But who the fuck are they serving? Who are they serving? I mean, think of the amount of single moms, the extra kids that they have, the welfare kids and so on. What kind of resource predation is that inflicting on the world? You know, how about women without husbands keep their fucking legs shut? I mean, I know this is a shocking thing for people to hear, but how about that? Or, you know, keep your legs open, but, uh, you know, put a uh, put a hat on the bishop, so to speak, right? Just do something that, you know, do something where you don't end up with spooge and the egg, that's all. It's really bad for the environment. How about, you know, stop um, sucking up resources like an oil derrick and a new well uh, of, of oil? I mean, just, but it's all... Nobody ever says to women, listen, um, irresponsible procreation and um, uh, massive consumption of stupid material resources. Like, if you ever really want to cry for a tree, then pick up a woman's magazines and flip through it and look for stuff that is even remotely useful for any kind of intellectual quality of human life. See, you pick up a Best Buy, you pick up a Future Shop, you pick up a Staples, there's shit in there that it can actually make you smarter, right? Okay, you got some tablets, you know, you got some folders, you can put stuff in them that you, you know, you might conceivably have read. Uh, there's a dino labelers or whatever the hell, the dynamo labelers, you can label shit, you know, at least there's some spelling involved in that and all of that. Like, you pick up the guy's stuff, look, we're building stuff, look, I have to measure something, look, it might make me a tiny bit smarter to build a deck, right? It's something, something, right? Pick up a woman's magazine and flip through it. And try and figure out any of that shit you would ever need on a desert island. I, I wouldn't mind having a tablet on a desert island, get some solar power batteries going. At least I could play Candy Crush until I shot myself. Or, you know, if you build a deck on a desert island, useful. Hey, do you need a lot of eyeshadow on a desert island? How about a bag that's completely impractical? How about a Snoopy diamond-studded case for your cell phone? Is that really, really helpful? Ooh, you know what would be great on a desert island? Different hair colors. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, also, if I could get that purse with a tiny dog inside, that would be a fantastic thing for the seagulls to eat. I mean, just, you know, it'd be great. Shoes that make no conceivable sense whatsoever, that put your ass on a shelf, make your calves look longer, and make you completely unable to run from predators. Fantastic. Love it. That'd be excellent. You know what else would be great? Celebrity gossip, because nothing helps you survive on a desert island, like knowing how Ben and Jennifer are doing. <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable well, it's like how flood, much too. useless, yeah, like how much, un, how much useless shit women consume. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Go to a mall, people. That is the death of mother nature right there. You know what a mall is? A mall is a big giant tombstone on the face of mother nature. A, a, a mall is just, you know what, let's set fire to everything in the world and then turn it into shoes and handbags and jeans and some glittery fucking scarves that won't even scare off anything. I mean... That's what malls are, a big, giant fist and boot to the face of Mother Nature. All for useless shit that nobody ever needs, ever, anywhere, anytime, anyhow, in any conceivable way, shape, or form. You ever woke up one morning and said, you know what I really need? What I really, really need is jeans so tight it looks like I ran through a denim spray tanner. You know, like, Jesus Christ. You ever want to confuse a woman in a mall, take something out of a pocket, drop it on the ground and say, hey, you want to pick that up? Uh, I can't. I'll lose a leg. <laughs> I mean, Jesus God. <laughs> I mean, and, and people go to malls and they look at this stuff and they say, well, you know, men are really a big problem with consumption. You know, hey, beer's more natural than fucking Prada shoes or whatever the hell they make that shit out of. <laughs> I mean, unless you're actually going hip waiting for disco, you don't need thigh high space boots unless you're actually a porn actress. Jesus, God, go into these stores. How many feet do these people have? Are like a women secretly centipedes? I can't understand it. What the hell is going on? How many trees have to die? How many birds have to have no nests? Because you need as many fucking shoes as you have hairs on your head. Right. God almighty.